Hello everyone, this is HTS Guest here back with some more Bronze League Heroes action! This time it's going to be a silver level game. Yes, we can cast games that are not in Bronze League. Up at the top left side, it is going to be Boar Crafty. And down the bottom right side, it is going to be a completely 100% ungenuine EG Idra. Now, of course, it is not the real Idra because, number one, Idra is not in Silver League. He has finally advanced to Gold League now, so uh, everyone's proud of him. But also, he is not in the Clan EG. Oh, apparently, whoa, whoa, what's he starting this off with? We got the good old good luck and then the suck my D-I-K. Suck my uh, D-I-know. I'm not quite sure what he's trying to say there. But uh, either way, this is going to be Bronze League Heroes once again. Now, a quick recap. Number one, you can send your replays to me at huskyreplays at gmail.com if you would like. Number two, a special thanks to my friend Sinvicta for going through the replays, finding the good ones, and uh, sending me a big zip file of about ten games apiece, and I randomly select one and go to town. Also, Boar Crafty, you got to make some more workers, man. This has got to be an issue. We will talk about that in a little bit. There he goes right there. But uh, anyways, I actually wanted to cast some more pro-level games, but uh, there's hardly any out there right now. There's actually a major tournament taking place that uh, Snoot just ended up winning. I know that uh, that TLO did very well as well. So anyway, so those of you who don't know, Bronze League Heroes is a fun series I do where uh, we watch low-level games, we have fun, we learn from them, and we make fun of the players a little bit. And anyone who gets upset about it, they are officially dubbed a butthurt Beverly. So, uh, whoa, whoa, unbuildable plates. These look way different than normal. What's going on here? What, is this bug or is that actually what it looks like now? Because those are not plates. That is like, un th that that had to have spawned incorrect, right? Am I tripping right? I'm totally tripping. Or so I don't know what's going on here. Apparently those ones up there just look silly. Do they actually look like that or am I crazy? Man, I'm the one who should be in Bronze League right now. But uh, anyways, oh, we got a pylon going down in the base of uh, a boar crafty. This isn't actually going to be a cannon rush, is it? Is this like legit a cannon rush? Because we got the good old one gateway. <laughs> My favorite part is how he took a gas and then was just like, no, I think 11 probes is the correct amount of probes to make. And uh, we're going to go ahead and cannon rush here, I guess. I guess that's what we got going on. We do have another barracks on the way for boar crafting. Now, I want to tell you something, guys. Cannon rushing Terran players is like never recommended, especially on this map where it's so easy to fly to another base. And the, uh, the probe goes down already. So it looks like this SCP right here, he is just he is just shining with glory. He is basking in the glory. But look at him, he's even flexing. He's like, eat it, probe. As he does have one kill, the SCP is just going to chill out there for a while. Looks like the Marine going to attempt to take out the cannon. That is not a good idea, though, as that cannon is nearly done. The SCP finally realizing, all right, I got to get back to work. As uh, he, he was like a child actor where you do something really good at the beginning and then uh, you realize, oh, I actually have to get an actual job after this. Cybernex Core going to be going down for E.G. Idra, which so far he is living up to the real man's name himself, sitting at 10 probes. Quite impressive there, buddy, on his, on his saturation. Take a look at the units tab here. 19 SCVs to 13 probes. Now, uh, Borecrafty actually going to be dropping down his third racks here. Now, normally, I mean, this is just kind of bad because either what you want to do with three racks is, okay, number one, number one, the golden rule, say it with me, guys, always build orbitals. Say it one more time, always build orbitals. If you are a Terran player, whoever makes a command center that is one of his first three command centers and is not an orbital command, you are in trouble, you are in the doghouse. That's, oh, there we go right there. All right, all right, he heard me, although this was definitely way delayed. Anyways, if you're going to be going for three barracks, just make sure that uh, you, you get add-ons because you can afford to produce off of two reactors and one tech lab or uh, two tech labs and one reactor if you are macroing correctly. So just remember that. Always build orbitals and always build add-ons. Uh, E.G. Idra saying stow slash. Stow slash. All right, so it does look like the cannon is still going to remain for now. That cannon is up to two kills, however. The Zealot going to try and scope up here. Not really see a whole lot as to what's going on. Um, ah, there's going to be the tech lab. We got the tech lab for Bo Boar Crafty. Boar Crafty, quite the awesome name. SCP going to be scouting around. I think he's... I, I don't know. I honestly don't know why he's scouting over here. But hey, man, he knows that his opponent's not spawning there. Oh, I guess he hasn't scouted at all yet uh, until just now, so that would explain it as Idra... 
Idra evidently knew that this is cross spawns only. Borecrafty did not get the memo. This cannon is still being a total tool, man. Gonna be uh, harassing that maybe. Alright, where's the SCV who has the one kill? We gotta, we gotta crown him grand champion. There he is right there. He is grand champion of this game. And uh, what do we got going on here? Another barracks, another engineering bay. Which, uh, four barracks is definitely too much for one base. But, you know, if you don't have any add-ons, you might as well go for it. Ah, here we go. We got the good old five gateways and a cannon. Oh, wait, wait, two cannons right now. Two cannons inside the main base. Looking top-notch here, Idra. And I'm, I'm, I can only assume that this is going to be a pretty sick timing attack. Two stalkers in the main base, actually. Which, uh, that is true. You can warp in at your pylons. So he does have the reinforcements there. Could continue this pressure. We do have a stim pack on the way. The Marines right here got to try and go for it, but the cannon just raking in the damage. There is not going to be... Oh, don't worry, Marine. You got this. Sending in two Marines now. Got to try and deal with this. More units got to be warping in. All these Marines get taken out, though. And we have liftoff. Houston, we definitely have a problem, but, man, do we have liftoff. This... No, SMEs, do not go over there. E.G. Indra saying, die. I, I'd like to think that he said it just in that voice. Like, that's his death metal voice. He's like, die, 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 die. That is exactly how he sounds, guys. We're going to stick to it. So E.G. Indra with the smack talk coming out. Now, I feel like someone with 13 probes on his minerals at the nine-minute mark just cannot smack talk. That's, that's going to be a new rule of StarCraft right here. And the Chrono Boost with the supply block. Die. Die, says Idra. He doesn't even need probes or chrono boost. Barrack's going to go ahead and fly out over there. And uh, Borecrafty, he's got a new home over here. As it, It's a very small home. It's a very humble home. A very cheap home. But, man, is he going to land here for now? Got to find a place for these barracks. And yawn. Yawn. Why does he have, like, the, the, death, the death metal smoker voice? Ah, Ed Idra throwing down some more cannons like a boss. He's also got a start yet. All right, guys, you see what we're looking at right here? This is what I would call a bad player. When you have 15 probes on minerals, you have five warp gates and a stargate and three cannons. Don't do this. Do not do this at any level of play. If nothing else, get rid of the cannons. Take an expansion, because that's about how much you spend on cannons, and then you're already in better shape. And always, probes and pylons, SCBs and depots. I got to say, though, that uh, Borecrafty is a little bit better about his SCBs and supply depots as he's not supply blocked, unlike EG's Idras with his die. All right, so the expansion is up in the top center. Now, I can't even call it an expansion as it is the main base. Base organization here, not the best considering the tight space. It's like living in New York. You got no room to expand, no room to stretch your legs out. And uh, what is Idra up to? Oh, he's getting Phoenix! Going for Phoenix out of all things. I feel like Void Rays or Oracles would be a better choice here. But he is going to go for Phoenix. Remember, Phoenix really aren't that great in the mid game if you only have like four of them. So definitely something to keep in mind. But uh, that's fine because Idra, Idra is uh, is pro Skeet Sauce. Which, I, actually I don't know that that's being very pro. Anyway, we're going to call him pro Skeet Sauce with the longest probe supply block of all time. Another building goes down. Robotics facility coming on up. So he's got the good old five gateways. One of them is not a warp gate, by the way, which is very important to his build, as uh, that has not been a warp gate this entire time. He's got the robotics. He's got the Phoenix on the way. And he's just got a supply block across the board. I think he may be finally warping in a pylon over here. Down that goes. Stuck at 42 supply, though. And uh, Borecrafty, he's got a lot of money to burn here. He does have the add-ons on the way. He's got two reactors as well. The probe right here is going to scout out everything that's going on. And apparently that is not a wall-in as the Marine shows that, nope, during the zombie apocalypse, this wall-in would not hold. There we go. The SCB got the memo. He's going to go ahead and close that off. But uh, right now, E.G. Hydra with two proxy pylons now. Still, of course, has the one in the main base. And this random army just chilling out over here. They don't care. They don't care what's going on. But I got to say, Borecraft has been able to sit around for just long enough to begin stim pack, he's got marauders on the way and marines, and he's not supply blocked. So this might actually pan out quite well for him. EG's Idra finally figuring out how to uh, navigate around that supply block. Adds on a Twilight Council now. Basically going to be getting every building in the game. I love these two Phoenix here being very active with them as they're flying all around the map, getting lots of scouting intel. And a robotics bay. Here we go. All right, we just got all sorts to take another cannon in the mineral line. Very nice, very nice. The Zealots now 
going to be attacking. I think the Stalkers actually got taken out right there, but I gotta say, Marina Marauder is the most noob-friendly unit composition in the game. I, I don't care what anyone says, that it is true, at least in the mid-game. Now, normally we'd be transitioning sort of into the mid-late game, but uh, this is Bronze League Heroes, where the mid-game is forever. And, yep, it's not even walled in tight right there, so really lowering that depot is not going to do a whole lot. But here's the army. The Phoenix going to join in the fight. Here we go. Prepare for some epic micro as all the units don't even get the memo there. There's the Phoenix. They do pick up a Marauder. So uh, that that was the thing. It does look like Borecraft. He has managed to do it. He's going to kill off the Phoenix. Wait, 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 wait. There was another Phoenix there, right? That wasn't a bug. That, was, that made it look like the Phoenix didn't exist, but I think that it did. A couple of Stalkers going to be warping in. All of a sudden, E.G. Idra regretting being supply blocked for nine and a half minutes here. He does have an Observer now out. E.G. Idra looking to be in a little bit of trouble here. His Stalker's trying to retreat. Not sure that he's going to be able to escape, though. Oh, Borecraft, he's a little pissed. He's not actually going to go up the ramp, though. I thought he was. But uh, Stalker's going to get some free shots from the high ground. Only about four or five shots coming out, though. I don't think that's going to be enough. As Borecrafty, he is back in this man. He actually has a supply lead. E.G. Idra smack talk. Let's take a look at that again. Yeah, stow slash die, yawn. Oh, it looks like Borecraft, he also said, uh, are you going to cheese Idra, huh? And uh, he was absolutely correct about that, as we do have the Stalkers at the top of the ramp. We're just waiting. The trap has been sprung. And the trap, unfortunately, is just not that terrifying, because there's a lot of Marine and Marauder. We'll see, though. Engineering Bay on the low ground, because why the hell not? Doesn't have room inside of his new main base. E.G. Idra does have an Immortal now out. But with no sentries, he's not going to be able to wall in his ramp and prevent this army from just marching up here. Uh-oh. Borecraft, he's got to be moving out right now. He's moving out down to the bottom right side. He's got a lot of units. He now has stim pack and, and he has combat shields. The Stalkers here trying to intercept the reinforcements, but it's not going to happen. He's able to take out those few Marina Marauder uh, before they die, but that is not going to be enough here. Oh, God, this army's looking terrifying. He's got to go straight for the kill. Those two probes, man, that's the best saturation we've seen from Idra all game. Does he decide to warp in some more units? They would definitely be useful right about now. The army's getting closer and closer. Reinforcements could be sent down if need be. And here he goes. He's going to go up the ramp. There is no sentry here. The cannons, though, could prove to be quite effective. Unfortunately, the robotics facility is not helping him out here one bit. Does he warp in any more units? He's got two more stalkers. Here comes the army right there. Does he stim? Does he stim? No, he's just going to slowly work his way up the ramp. The Immortal there, proven to be quite effective versus those Marauders. We'll have to wait and see, though. Borecrafty, gearing up for the attack. The suspense is killing me. The Marine almost gets taken out. Reinforcements are on the way. The Army side is getting vastly superior. The Major Supply Block, but here we go. They're going to run up there. Does he stim? No. Yes, he does take the drugs. He takes the drugs. He's going to try to bust up the ramp. I think he's actually going to do it. I think that EG's Indra Smack Talk is going to backfire. Everyone says they love seeing Indra lose, especially when it's a fake poser Silver League player. And it looks like his main base is going to go down. And he says whatever this is. I don't even know what that says. I don't even know what that says, but he's going to die. Oh, God, the main base for EG Indra is going to get taken out. And he's laughing at him. And that is the best insult to injury you can ever do is just laugh at your opponents as they slowly, slowly fade away. I'm actually rolling around on the carpet right now. That game was so ridiculous. And look at this. The Terran player stays in the game just a little bit longer for the glory of destroying the fake EG Idra. This is why, guys. You do not rage. You do not be mean. You do not build six gateways with one upgraded or unupgraded as a uh, not a warp. Okay, let's try it again. You do not build five or six gateways, upgrade four or five of them to warp gates, leave one as a gateway, get a Stargate, get a Twilight Council, get a Robotics, get a Robotics Bay, all on one base. Do not do that, guys. That is the Husky Pro Tip of the day. Do not have that many production facilities off of one base. This is why you're bad, and you need to get better. Maybe, maybe that should be the saying. Maybe that should be the saying, like, this is why you're bad after I give a pro tip. Of course, I am bad as well. I will be the first to admit that I am horrible at StarCraft 2. But Bronze League Heroes, this series is for the wacky people out there who love bronze-level games. Feel free to send your games to huskyreplays at gmail.com. We will be going through them and having a lot of fun. And also, 
If you are watching your pro level replays or uh, pro level players, make sure to send those games as well to huskyreplays at gmail.com. Not a lot of pro players are actually actively playing right now because of how many tournaments are going on, but I would love to see those games. This has been Bronze League Heroes episode number three. I have made a playlist of all these awesome games. I was actually re-watching some of them because it's kind of fun to experience them, not as a commentator, but as a fan. So I hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you guys next time with Bronze League Heroes.